there's this pathological curiosity in me. So I, he's gonna push me up, push me up the hole. I had a bit more gumption, I guess I would like try to push myself up to get around the corner so I could see if that was in fact the final chamber. Because it went up and I couldn't quite see like the top of it. Actually, it's peculiar. Most beavers are going to have your typical lodge, which is made out of rushes and sticks and stuff like that. But sometimes along the, usually rivers and sometimes even streams, they'll have what they call a bank lodge. And that is where the beaver will put something in the side of the bank. And so I think that's what we've got here. Clearly the beaver was coming in from lower down here under the water level and then decide at some point, oh, I'm going to turn up. The starting of the hole was not here. It was out in the base of what's now occupied by the bay. What's unusual is that this is along the cliffs of a large, large river, and we don't typically see beavers in this kind of a situation. This is a beaver that's come in. It would have been underwater with a passage that would go up to its lodge, and a typical beaver lodge would have three rooms. It would have the larger room, which is where the beavers lived. It would have a smaller room, which is where they would store their food because they didn't want to come out every day to get foliage and whatnot. And then the third room was the bathroom. So it's, when you think about it, these beavers were really amazing animals. And this is all like 15 million years old. Obviously the beaver is much younger than that. I don't know if it's 100 years, 1,000 years. In our lifetime, it'll probably erode back far enough for us to see that chamber. You know, I don't, this, this is really, hard clay, so it, the erosion here is very slow. Like oh, this thickness right here tells us how old this opening is. Because the oxygen would diffuse into the clay and oxidize the iron in here and change it from this color to that color. So that we don't know how to tell, how to read this clock. We don't know how much it went in every year. And it's a shame, if we knew it was like a millimeter per year, we'd say, oh, it's like 20 years. There's this pathological curiosity in me. Too.